under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. Okay, this is time set for Golden Bridge Superintendent Ball. Um, so we wanted to make a decision on what we're going to do with that road up there, past the dam. Whether we should put hot, get a load of that hot mix and put in there, or just more temporary fix it with um, dirt patch. What do you guys think? Well, but that sub subgrade and everything has worked its way up to the surface, and it's it's going to have to be dug out and some rock put in. And and I don't care how it's sealed. Um, if, I don't know if your patch will seal it or it might. Um, well, it'll be a temporary it'll, fix, but it'll be a temporary fix. I mean, at I least get something in there to keep the, the degraded rock from or mud from coming up. Through the surface when it gets wet. Um, I'll get a locate on that and I'll dig it out first. Dig it down a couple, two to three feet. Straight past the spillway as you're going up above the lake. So is there anybody, anybody is there anybody that's gonna have hot mix up there or? no we'd have to get in the solo. Is there a tall one? Uh, yeah. Well are we going to be yeah we probably want to be a bit closer okay. from up the lake. How far are you going to do it? Just, there's just a big hole there. This big frost heap came up and it's, it's pretty, it's in bad shape. 15 by 10 is about what it is. It's your old point of view, your cost to get it fixed away. Right. I'm sure a load of mix will be, maybe 25 on the end of it. It's to be good. It's going to be good. Just where do you think it's going to be? Delaying the end of one of them if we don't fix it right. Yeah, I just we just have to be able to get it all done fixed right. Well, we have to dig it out no matter what. We just have to try to say it. Yeah, and then we'll find out if patch it. Right. Put a thousand dollars in the patch and the flavor and everything on it. Just fix it right. That's right. And yeah. if it takes a couple of loads, the hot mix it do a lot better job than a motion. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, yeah, I, I thought we were still discussing. It's only us talking to you. I agree with you too, I think. Paul, I don't use it. I was kind of your call. Uh, so. Just, you know, it could wind up being five or $6,000 material. And then it's done. Yeah. yeah. I uh, uh, moved and seconded that we go ahead and fix this break. And you'll just keep us up on the way. I've right. right. been hit up by quite a few people that they don't want it done before the uh, holiday, after the campers all leave and everybody leaves. Then They're in lock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'd like to have the yeah, lake shore yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's, it's, you know, it's good to know that, but you know what? Do it when you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got time this week or something, I mean, if it needs to be done, get it done. They put all the stuff in. morning. I think I did too. I thought we were looking at more. We got that East Fork all marked. There were people on that cut going down around there with more posts put in, so they put a bunch of posts in here this week. Got that done. The Mullen Road, I'm going to put stakes in, okay. put some cut marks and fill marks on them, and that and then we'll get with these guys and we'll get that put in the paper so it's in the paper by next Thursday. Okay. That way everybody's got to do it. Whoever else had it, they don't know what they're what they want. Yeah. yeah. So nobody look at it and think, well, we can just cut that with the grade or whatever you can't cut it. Would board. it uh, be a big problem to go up or further? Pass the cell tower and look at that. If you I look at that, and that was my next there's question. Water is coming in there. I went up again. I just like it broke over the street. Well, <coughs> they've actually went a road a road around that. Now I took some pictures of it, okay. and we need to haul some riprap in there 
and fix that main county road. So you're in I, I went out there and it was a guy who was mayor. I had work to him. So. When he called two or three dollars for rip rap and then some road base and put over the top of that and fix it and get in. Also, um, we need to haul another load on the wheat field road there to a haul. There's just a big washout up in there. Kind of a Matt Young's. We need to do that because if somebody does happen to hit that on a bike or something, it could be pretty seriously hurt. Well, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, we, we, we can have something. One of the deal was, you know, that's what he's blaming. Yeah. And okay. we just need to figure out if we want to pull the dishes and everything like we should, or <coughs> know, how far do you want to go along with that? We still need to clean that cattle guard out. So back on Mullen Road, how far past uh, Calvin's are you going to pull? I thought just go pull the top of the hill, just say you take three feet off the top, and then take it down, put it in the bottom to build that up before we put the belt down. Right. Yeah. So will Calvin have to go up on the Calvin Road? To He'll have a little bit of one, yeah. yeah. Sure. But I mean, that's the way it is. But that's how you bring the water up. Right. right. Are you going to go up towards Peterson's at all or just grade it? Uh, we bladed it already. It's in pretty good shape. Okay. But, I mean, at some point we're going to need to push gravel on that too. Where do you think the, uh, the trail will stop? The fabric? I would say partway, probably at the toe of the hill on the other end. Instead of two all trucks, we probably have, or one would be two. Unless we decide to fix this one. You're looking at all this stuff. Looking all over. Yeah, okay. Let's see what it costs. Sure. Right. Every, every time there's an issue with it, you know, then you're cleared 
that tail mount there. Yeah. <coughs> but we're also going to figure out what we're going to use for the truck. Right. So. We need a better truck than you're going to go back and forth the whole other way. Well, you don't want to be running down the highway at 45, 50 mile an hour on ice. No. Having them send ice trying to get around you're going 70. It's just a bad deal. Yeah, right. I think that's one reason why we're just kind of excited about having some reason. Still on the highway because they got to go to Beaverdale. Yeah, but not as much. They don't go every day, though, did they? Well, every day they plowed. Because see, like yeah. when Mike used to go down there, we had some really close calls. He'd go every day, you know, on foot, just drumming all the way to Mount Creek. Right. That's all I, I remember we talked about that. Well, plus, he was on it before anybody else was on it, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I know. <coughs> you got grass number. Should be nice to have something in there. What? It's a long haul. So Speaking of Lower Rock Creek, are you going to go to the joint meeting down there on the floor? Anyway. Yes. Yes. You'll be Mike. It's on record now. Uh, uh -huh. I have planned on that, yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate you reminding me on what you're on the 5th of the morning. You'll email me. <laughs> uh, how about I was 6 o'clock at night? 6 o'clock, Fisherman's Mercantile. Yeah. Yeah. How about our cattle guard? Next week. Next week? Maybe tomorrow. Next week. I know. We're pretty busy. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> We're we promised her a year ago. Keep yeah. Going. We didn't have a cattle group, so The cattle should be home by now, I hope. Well, yeah, maybe. I know they were from. <laughs> yeah. Eva's all the way to Ross's for Friday morning. The problem is there's everybody's cattle came home. Right. Because the cattle door didn't separate. <laughs> no, I think someone left the gate open up there with their logging. Oh, yeah. I took pictures and stuff with the cattle door because. They said they crossed our cattle guard. They but um, we're waiting for a low gate. Okay. And we should not have that today. So okay. if we do, we'll throw them in there tomorrow. Okay. Good. It'll keep her off my butt. So what is they keep telling her next week, because that's what I hear. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> what did Blunt say about you? Is that, is that all good? Okay. Maybe when I'm on at some point, you know. Well, I'm sorry. What I what I meant to tell you is that if they go through the process, okay, the claim process, we need anybody that works for us understands that that's how government right. normally does it, okay? And we don't want to make an exception every time anything can just go through the damn process. But because it gives, you know, Scott a chance to look at it, it's, it's a good deal. But Every once in a while, you're going to run into a deal where you're going to need one. So, fine. You know, the, just so you know, you can do that. But don't do it every time you don't have to. You know, if there isn't some reason. <coughs> and I know they'll get, hey, when do I get paid? When do you get paid the way the policies of the county are set up to pay? Them. Yeah. What are you talking about? Our claims for the um, chip sealing project. And then I brought in all the stuff from the floor service because they our deal is to pay them every two weeks regardless of where that's an example. Well that's because we right. wanted to make sure that we could get our money and then get it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a so big two yeah. We're doing well, that with the same the <coughs> same contractors also had a couple of days for hauling the other material so they're writing the check anyway so they're just they didn't let it do it. Just so we can get reimbursed right away and get paid. Yeah, I think that's why we thought. We thought we that's true. Well, that he we thought, well, I'll just pay my contractors every two months. Well, if we wait till the end of the month and they have that whole big pile of shit from the end of the month. This way, you know, like with the fire, we got behind. This way we can keep right up. And every two weeks we should be rolling. Yeah, right? yeah. everything they've got, every, every ticket, everything from last Friday on is getting taken care of right now. Today, you guys will 
percent they'll send the checks home to me and get the bill sent to the Forest Service. Okay. You got anything else? Oh, yeah. You guys have anything else for Paul? No? Okay. If you're out by the where we're planning maybe a crushed gravel out by the east part. What's that? If you are out that way, if you can get a couple of five gallon buckets of that material, uh, one of the engineers will take it and have it tested. Oh, okay. All right. And I wrote that down. And I forget. Yeah, bring it in here. To, um, okay. It'll be up at the lake next week. <laughs> okay. We'll take that excavator out there and get it to you. Yeah. We're actually going to put that caliber in, we'll have it out there. So, okay. Yeah. Didn't they test that once already? Hmm? Didn't they test that once already? I don't think so. Remember he went out and dug, uh, uh, Ronnie went out and dug? That yeah, was for water. It was it was water. Oh, he didn't yeah, test that one. Oh, okay. <coughs> yeah. So he never took samples. Okay. Well, I bet I thought he did. He was out there digging it up. Exactly. Probably like three, five gallon buckets or something. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, that He's up to the meeting. We'll get that done, then we're going to run down on the bare mouth road and make sure it doesn't on the other side of the river, just in case there's some spots to hit before. Yeah. Well, winter's going to be here pretty really quick. Yeah, it will. Yeah. No, I think I mean, it was looking pretty good. I drove up by the solid waste yesterday. state right now, they're scooping up with loaders and that, and then they bring that dirt and everything. So, 
so that's going to be, you know, that's why a lot of our bins are filling up. Yesterday, they were about down with dirt when they come. You know, trying to get the smelly bars off the road. I, I wouldn't want to grab it. What about the state about taking some of that? Would they have a place for it? No, they can't hardly get rid of the sand, the sand they sweep up off the highway without putting it in jail holes and stuff. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's... One of these ranchers, I'll call her next. And they have, have that one. All over, you know. Well, they have that one right out there that they made a dump outside where they had their little gravel pit started. And they pushed all that brush and they took all that brush from the, the trees and stuff. And oh, did they? Yeah. You know, that might be something. That's just a phone call. It's not a big sure. Deal. No, I guess they will know before this winter that it'll start freezing. Right now would be a good time to get rid of them all. Alright, well that's all I got, unless you guys got something. Good job. Everything down my way looks pretty damn good. Hope you can find some trucks here this fall. Yeah, we're building one right now in the hall. Nothing over at Helena? Nothing's come in there? Maybe going over there. Well, JC was saying, you know, they were going to before you tired they were going to do a whole big trade out. Well they he did thought this would probably be the better year. That's just what he said. Yeah, they bought one point six million worth of new freight liners. So we got on that list we could have bought a new one for ninety three. I mean keep in mind that's just the truck. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you got another whole lot put together. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I drive over there and look one of these days though. Yeah, I didn't know. I guess that's. I know most times it's shit. Maybe it's out there. You don't know. All right. Only 50 miles. Uh, All right. Thank yeah. you. All yeah. right. See you guys. Back with the truck. Yep. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This uh, time set for George Tyler overflow <laughs> with new decision, <laughs> Commissioner Bob. Today the uh, lake elevation is uh, 6429.28 and that is 2.64 inches below the pool. We're still at 56.7 CFS uh, going across the river and 42 of that is uh, going through the plant. Uh, as a comparison, I looked at last year and uh, we were 4.32 inches below the full pool and only letting out 44.7 uh, CFS. So we've got a lot more water uh, going across the water this year and uh, the lake is two inches higher than it was last year. What's the elevation? 6429.28 and that's 2.64 inches above, below full pool. So one thing I'd say is we said approximately three weeks on the, the 60s, so I'd say if, you, if you're if you going to keep it like that for another week, next week you probably want to go back and talk to the agency and get it. I, I would move to leave the lake just like it is right now. Uh, and that would be 56.7 uh, outflow and uh, so, uh, not, one thing, uh, um, uh, Jason Vitor asked if it could be raised 260. I don't know if you saw that. Well, I saw it, but, uh, you know, that's that back to that turn thing. Like, we're fine. Yeah. Be happy with what you get. Yeah. I mean, we're working. We're letting out more now than we have in years past. He did. He, he did thank you up and down. He wasn't. Yeah. 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 What about the weir? We got to clean that this year? So Paul, I mean, he's busier than hell. Does it need it? That it needs it. Saying. It needs it. We because when that pipe blew out, it, it, a lot of silt came down when that pipe blew out last spring. And, uh, that needs it. We can have a look and see if we can get to it. I mean, I guess I hear you talk about the rear. Usually the ball will do it. Yeah. I think if Paul gets caught up, yeah, that's something that he could uh, go in and do. Should we just tell him what we're about his to-do list? Yes, I think we should. Oh, my nephew. There's a motion. Is there a second on the 
even John. second. Okay. Discussion on and the right level? For one week then? Yeah. So, okay, oh, so well, I can we'll let them know. Sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, are we we don't worry then? Well, they, they wanted a weekly update. Mm -hmm. The uh, Fish, Wild, and Parks, uh, Forest Service, and... Uh, Only like three weeks in, though? Uh, so I think it's, three weeks. yeah, so I'd say, yeah, if you're going to do it, keep it high next week, then we go back and get back it. Back to the Mike, do you the motion? Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. The will stay the same, and we'll do it again next week. Sounds good. Okay. Any other questions? This is the time set for County Treasurer Superintendent of Schools, Vicki Hardy. Vicki, how are you? Vicki Hardy. Approval of the school Hi. budgets, right? Yeah. Plus, I have finance reports. Oh, so I don't uh, know how to do this. June and July. We'll do those first. How's that? Yeah. Okay. June. Thank you. So this is July's. So we have bank balance of 644.121, payroll 37.108, CDs 529.775, protested 73.906, 
Memorial 30,274. Airport 68044. Stip is 9,131,699. Money market 25,948. Treasury bills of cost 252,24. So then on pot bottom side we have 10,818,712. And then we have a deposit on June from the other side 29,118. So a balance of two, or I mean a difference of 2,234.01 for July. Yes. So now these are the three budget. I already had you do um, school district number eight because Joe happened to be here this day or that day last week or whatever. So all these need is a chairperson, county commissioner. Um, I don't. I don't know. Do we have we ever in the past? Yeah. I mean, they're pretty well, I much they. I think you're approving. Yeah. yeah. Because they they set their own budgets and and then that's going to be submitted to. Um, well, actually, it's already submitted to the state. Okay. They submit everything and pretty much I just sign off. And I'll go make a few copies of this. This is just a sheet that lays out um, all of the school districts. Plus, it has the tech, the value of the mail. Plus, it has the countywide mail for the uh, retirement and the transportation. So I'll go run and do that real quick. So I guess I didn't understand that we need to take. Uh, is there a motion done? Yeah, I do a motion. I do okay. A motion. Okay. Yeah. So I'd entertain a motion on the FY 2019 budget report for the schools. <coughs> Discussion on the school budgets. So this is Phillipsburg, Drummond, right. and the yeah. Hall. Yep, all three. Uh, yes. Mike, I'm sorry. Phillipsburg, Drummond, and Hall. All in favor say aye. 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 Concerning the deposits and the checks on the, why is there so much money in the just? Why do they refer to it as a justice court? What kind of deposits are you talking about? That? Those are people that are paying their fines by credit card. Credit card. So, so what they do is they call us, we run the credit card, and then we take a check downstairs. Thank you. So then it goes through theirs, and I gave you one of these. Um. So this kind of just lays everything out, and I think, and I've done one of these for you guys in the last few years. So it just breaks each school out. If you can look, you can look towards the left hand side. So there's 418, which is school district number eight. 419. I think. Oh, I got a picture. Um, 419. So then, and then it goes by columns. So school district number eight only has general. So then you have uh, school district 11. They have general transportation. Building reserve and then the, their debt service. Countywide mills is 33. That never changes. That's set by the state. Retirement, um, elementary retirement. And you have high school, um, which is school district number one. You have general transportation, bus, tuition, technology fund, building reserve, and their debt service is paid off as of last year. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, then we have school district number two, we have general transportation, tuition, building reserve, and then their debt service, because there's debt service for the elementary, debt service for the high school. Then we have countywide, which is 22 meals, and that sets by the state. Retirement, which is 25.32, and uh, high school retirement, and then transportation and county. Those funds actually, when they're collected, then they are sent to the state as a monthly. Uh, monthly check that goes to the state and eventually it comes back around to the schools 
as their, um, I want to say, the funds that they, they get on a monthly basis. So, and then I always put on here the value of the mill, which is 12969 So then from this one, oh, how about if I try to just grab one? Do you want to stamp that one? Two. Then what I'll do is then I take this one, things that you sign, and then I'll submit that to the state too, also along with um, these go back, the signed copies go back to the schools. Okay. And that's it. Cool. I mean, and if you were, I mean, pretty much, they pretty much, to me, they stay pretty much the same every year. I mean, I always look at last year's mill levy value and see how much they're. So then I just take these numbers and put them into the computer. And, you know, as soon as I get all the rest of our, the, what lunch does, then we'll be good to go for taxes. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, was that on this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So she had to do it all.